Amit E. Bala Subramanian, CEO of Earth Your Villa Sun Life Asset Manager. Bala, firstly, congratulations on winning the Best Fund Award. Thank you. Uh, this is the second year in the row that you're winning this award. And uh, we just wanted to your thoughts around really you know, the way the shape, you know, Earth Your Villa Sun Life is taken as a mutual fund and shaping the investing philosophy, which has some thoughts around that. Yeah, I think um, the way I think uh, we've been building our well, uh, uh, as a man company is. Um, is around the investment philosophy, mm -hmm. investment performance. The another day we believe that investment in business is largely driven by investment capability, mm -hmm. which on which we have been making investment the last number of years. And that has been a paying off as well in terms of delivering consistent investment performance mm -hmm. and driven by the people, uh, which is both Mahesh and uh, Manish who have been heading the equity and the pigeon camp and brought a robust investment process the last number of years. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, reflects uh, both in terms of the way we are managing money today. It's close to about $36 billion of domestic assets, close to about $4 billion of overseas assets. Mm -hmm. I think this, the entire growth I think, has come on the back of the uh, strong culture that we have built as investment house. And that, that's, I think, the, 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 even this award that we are giving, right. uh, it's again a reflection of uh, the consistent performance that we have given the last three and five years period. So that's the culture that we have brought in and uh, we continue to believe that uh, strong investment uh, led uh, orientation and, um, and, and investment performance, consistent performance more than, more than anything else, uh, I think will drive ultimately the success of the asset management business. And, and clearly we're seeing that happening you know, in terms of, like we said, second year in a row for you all and hopefully you know, that's something that you know, you'd expect the love to continue. Uh, in terms of flows, we spoke about uh, you know, investors have been shying away a little bit from the equity markets of late. What is your thought and you know, what would your advice be to them uh, you know, when looking to invest back in the equity markets? I think clearly if you look at uh, the industry has come a long way mm -hmm. in <coughs> building the size to where they are today. Um, so close to about 25 lakh crore size and we saw the highest uh, growth coming in 2015-16. Uh, then we saw in 2016, somebody was repeating, in 2018 was also relatively a better year. The first half, the second half was, uh, there was a bit of uh, muted uh, growth. Even the last two, three months we have seen uh, real growth compared to the previous, um, uh, the last one year. Right. It is obvious, at the end of the day, last four, three years have been pretty good from investment experience point of view, return experience point of view, both on fiction income and equity and asset class. Having said that, this year the industry did go through some volatility, both on the equity market not uh, delivering good return mm -hmm. uh, other than the census companies. And also we have seen credit cycle uh, turn a little bad for a uh, brief period between September to uh, uh, December period. Mm -hmm. And about the noise levels are generally negative for the investment in the world, uh, naturally we see a marginal dip in the uh, flows. Mm -hmm. Having said that, uh, I think we as industry as well as the as well as like mutual fund have gone constructively in building SAP as a book size right. and we continue to believe um, even going forward that focus that we have brought in to build an SAP as a way to invest in equity will continue. As long as we are able to get the momentum continuing, mm -hmm. probably I would not be surprised the monthly inflows in the form of an SAP which close to about 8,000 crores today, it reaches about 11,000 crores in the year 2019. And that comes, I think the net inflow in equity uh, is not going to be negative. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be literally uh, compared to the previous years, maybe volatile, but the net equity inflows will be close to about uh, 60,000 crores per annum. I mean, the least, the highest could be about uh, 1 lakh 40,000 crores kind of inflows for the industry as a whole. Mm -hmm. right. And at Brazil and mutual funds, we get average of about uh, 2,000 crores in the past in terms of annual fund flows. Mm -hmm. And this year we will end up collecting close to about 9,000 crores of net equity. That's, that's great to hear. So, Bala, thank you so much and congratulations again on the win. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.